Yer. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you. That's right. Back at it again with another banger for you guys, man. Today, we finally have a modification, an installation, whatever you guys want to call it, for Vader. Something new, something that I actually have been needing for the car for a minute and been trying to get my hands on for a minute. I finally was able to make it happen. Finally got back in stock, found the right one, ordered it. It's here now. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this install goes smooth and we have no issues. Let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this banger. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We in with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like what you gon' do, where you at, who you with, you ain't really bout this, don't talk about don't it do Really on the move, on the map, never slip, keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about don't it do Real eyes, real lies, real lies, all the time stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know, what's an off day, now we on road, came from Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, we are in the JIHQ right now, we got Vader right here and as y'all can see on top of that carbon fiber hood, we have modification that we're going to be installing today. So as you guys know, I do have the air fuel ratio gauge and I also have the P3 gauge. Now the air fuel ratio gauge by AEM just sits on my steering column as of right now and the P3 gauge sits inside the AC vent. So I wanted to just clean up the interior, make it look like it's supposed to be there. And it's, you know, OEM plus. So that being said, I went ahead, got the gauge pod for it. This actually sits on the driver's side and it's right in your window defroster. It replaces the vent, but it's also functional. So you can still use that feature whenever it's cold outside and you can defrost your windows. But as y'all can see, the box, there was no, there was nothing really in the box for real other than packing peanuts and paperwork and then you had the pot itself. So that's why I didn't really do no unboxing for real. But let's just go ahead and jump straight into this install for real. All right, you guys, hopping in the car right now. Um, y'all can't really see anything, so I'm gonna put the car in accessory mode. Y'all can see like what my gauge is set up or looking like. So basically there you have it, the AMY band literally just sits on top of my steering column and then we have the P3 gauge right here in the AC vent. If y'all listen closely. Those are my AFM valves I'm trying to open and it's stuck. But anyway, this is the little setup as of right now. We are going to be replacing this little vent for the actual gauge pot. Um, let me turn this car back off so we don't have to listen to that ding the entire vlog. Um, so basically, how you do this right here, uh, you really are supposed to use like a flat head or something to get in there, bro. But all of my tools are at the dealership, so I'm going to have to improvise. But you're going to want to pull this whole piece right here towards yourself it's literally good it's just some clips don't be too scared bro you'll be fine you want to do that and then you also want to take off this panel that's right here once you take this panel off damn i really can't see anything i'm gonna put the touch up Alright y'all, so I pulled the car out. I decided it would be way better for lighting purposes to do this outside than to do it in the garage with the garage down. Now that y'all can see, you want to pull this plate towards yourself. It's literally the entire dashboard. It's going to separate and then you're going to pull off this panel right here. And it's going to expose behind your dash. Now, the reason why you're doing that is so that you can tuck your wires and pass them through and they'll pop up here. And that way you can plug in your gauge. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find like a knife or something to pull this, um, this actual vent out. And then we can go ahead and get started with like running the wires and stuff like that. And I'll show you guys the finished product. So, I just wanted to show you guys what the gauge looks like inside the pod. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I think 
the gauge might be just a tad too big but when the harnesses are plugged into the gauge it's going to be pulling back on it so it should hold it in place in theory if this doesn't work then i'm gonna end up sending this gauge pod back and trying to see if i can find another one hopefully it works though <laughs> Alright y'all, so pro tip when you're uninstalling this, you can literally grab it with two fingers, push downward, like kind of tilt it, and then you'll be able to work like a flat head around and be able to get it to come out. Now that we've done this, we're going to go ahead and run our wires through and connect, pass them through the pod and then we'll just put the gauge in. Alright y'all, the wires are now ran through. We're going to go ahead and take our pod here and run them through the bottom right there pass them through the top end and it should hang through here and then we can install it into the dash all right you guys so as y'all see man got that gauge in i ain't gonna lie it looks mad clean finally now my cluster is cleaned up it's not cluttered or anything like that let's go ahead and fire her up wanting to do this for the longest time ever since I got rid of the other gauge pod even though that was a two gauge pod you know it was just cleaner at the end of the day you guys know me you know how I like my cars you know how I like my builds simple clean OEM plus every time and this if this ain't OEM plus I don't know what it is both of my vents still work the P3 vent works for the AC and the heater the defroster vent still works to defrost the windows and I got my gauges here I mean perfect line of sight perfect line of vision you know if my car is running too rich too lean we in there man we in there no bad so yeah man I ain't gonna lie I'm super stoked that I was able to get this gauge pod in and finally get it installed you guys don't understand how much I've really hated just having the gauge flopping around there like y'all already know me man this is the lowest mile car i've ever had so the fact that the gauge will like block the mileage and stuff like that would low-key frustrate me so then i would have to push it off to the side and then it would block what um mode i'm in what gear i'm in when i'm in manual mode and stuff like that so it was just like yeah bro this is long overdue definitely need to go ahead and knock it out let's knock it out before the racing season starts and you know we just we just getting prepared for what we about to do out there in texas 2k man y'all just stay tuned we just hit 15k on instagram man i just wanted to say thank you to you guys um my phone is actually broken right now so i can't even like make a statement or anything like that or make a post on ig right now so i thought i might as well just talk about it right here in the vlog um this is currently the day after I hit 15K, but you know, talk about it in the vlog with y'all, man. I'll let y'all know. I just appreciate the support. I appreciate every single one of you who tune into the vlogs, who hit the like button, who drop a comment, who repost, who share, who tell your people about it, all of that, man. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart, man. JI Squad, we going up on the road to 10K on here. We're almost at 6K. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join the fam, man. Join the squad. We litty. But I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm probably going to take the car around the block, just get some driving footage of the gauge working and in its functionality and whatnot. And, you know, y'all already know how that go, man. I, you get a new mod, you, you know, y'all you, know, man. Y'all know. Hit that like button, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. That setup is player, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. You know, don't mind the check engine light, but yeah, I'm rocking with this one, dog. I ain't gonna lie. This joint sitting right. I'm really testing to see, like, on bumps and stuff like that, if the pod is gonna move. Um, I really think I put enough tension 
on the harness. Um, but you know, you gotta check. So that was a little speed bump right there. I ain't hear it move, or see it move. Yeah, I think we might be straight. I don't think it's gonna move around at all for real. Just because, like I said, I put a good amount of tension on it um, with the harness. So it should be straight, man. But yeah, super stoked with how this turned out. I can't lie. I can't lie. I can't lie. You feel me? But yeah, man, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for the kid. Turn them post notifications on, man. So you notify every time I drop a vlog. Yeah, man, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already joined the squad, man. And, you know, we're just going to keep going up. We're just going to keep on building. I put a poll up on IG asking, you know, the guys and girls over there that follow me on that platform if I should sell Vader or keep them. Because as y'all know, I've been having these issues with this car on uh, the past month or two. And it's just, you know, I'll solve one issue and then another one pops up. Solve that one, another one pops up. So it was just kind of like, I was kind of like at my breaking point where it's like, all right, bro, like, it's time to let this car go at this point. So yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below. What y'all think? Do I sell Vader? Do I keep them? You feel me? The IG fam said I should keep them. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below, man. At the end of the day, it's what y'all want. So what y'all want, I'm gonna go ahead and do. So that being said, if we keep Vader, we're gonna go ahead and throw that stage three cam in this joint, throw some nitrous at it and get these heads ported. And we're gonna really like, you know, put this thing on a converter and really make some things happening up there in Dallas for 2K. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below. I love y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.